We're Diamond is too loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Diamond Studios video. Billion dollar higher falls in love with Pearl Girl. What happens next is shocking. Hey Dad, I was going over these profit and loss statements. Instead of distributing more profits to our shareholders, why don't we donate some of this money? Where did this money come from? Don't worry about where it came from, son. The important thing is this is all free money. <laughs> Andrew Washington, you're under arrest for tax evasion and fraud. You have the right to remain hey. silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. Dad, what did you do? To me, Septon screams illegal. Hey there, little guy. How did you... Came through the window. What's your name, huh? How about Mr. Whiskers? You hungry, Mr. Whiskers? Come on. Let's go see what we got. Carlos. <laughs> hey. What's up, my man? Good, good. Oh. Man, can you believe it? Another corporate millionaire scamming the system. Yeah. I can't judge. Who knows what I'll do for a million dollars? True. <laughs> so true. True. Listen, Mr. Fitzgerald, I know I'm late on the rent, but... Hey, uh, hey, hey. Don't even worry about it. I know you're good for it, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I was just thinking... Uh, Maybe you could uh, take a look at my water heater. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, no problem. If you waive my late fee. If? <laughs> <laughs> and how about if I knock off $100 on your rent? How's that? I'm your man. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, did you meet your new neighbor, Craig? Between me and you? I mean, I. I almost didn't rent to him. He's got these legal problems. <laughs> Criminal. But, uh... Why he telling... Why he telling all that this dude's business? Number one. Secondly, you right next to him. I swear, if I was him, I'd be able to hear them talking. I think I had a hard time trying to find a tenant for that unit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I just said, hey, whatever, you know? Yeah. I mean, you gotta just be careful, right? Yeah, yeah, just... Be careful. That's all you can do. Hey, um, let me know about that uh, water heater, all right? Yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. All right. Thanks, later. Thank you, Mr. Fizero. Hey, how'd you get out? Hi, I'm Craig, your new neighbor. <laughs> you still wait for my cat and my family. Nice. Now he bought the tree too. like crap. No milk. In other breaking news, Andrew Washington's case is headed to trial. The multimillionaire and former CEO of Dark Haven has been indicted on several charges of tax evasion and fraud. Now, it's unclear if anyone else from the company will be charged or who. I'm 
head into work. All right, honey. Try to find a rich boy today, okay? Carlos! What? She's 25. Uh, he will say, but try to find a rich boy today. Now, I'm going to find it funny when the the young boy that's, that, that's living in them apartments, she starts liking him. And let alone, he's rich, but just not right now. You know? <laughs> By the time we were her age? I'm talking about the rich part. He doesn't have to have money as long as he treats her right. Every right. guy is going to treat her right. Angel's smart. She's beautiful. She knows how to cook. Plus, if any guy doesn't treat her right, he'll have to answer to me. But if he had money, then... There's much more to life than making money, Papa. Mm. I can make money. I don't need a man. Exactly. Right. She can... Yeah. Like the $14 an hour that she makes at the library is really going to help me retire. It's just a temp job. Yes, honey, but your dream of running a nonprofit, you think that's going to pay you more money? <laughs> I'm just telling you, mija, you know how bad my back is. I can't keep working like this forever, okay? And look, we're barely keeping up with all the bills. Now, if you married a rich husband, well, then we wouldn't have to worry about you anymore, and well, you could help us out, too. I don't want to live in this apartment forever. Carlos, stop pressuring her so much. Just let her be happy. Pero cual pressure? Como que cual pressure? Diciéndole a ella sí, que tiene que ser una mamá. Sí, yo le estoy diciendo eso para que ella esté happy y no tenga que estar sufriendo el resto de la vida. Oh, stay away from the new neighbor, honey. He's bad news. Y ahora el neighbor, deja el neighbor es tranquilo. Que no, no, Ay, no te quería Ay, Yo la tuve que quitar, mi gato. Tú, 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 llévate la comida y ya vete a trabajar. Ya, ya. Hey, do you have Lord of the Rings here? Yeah, it's two hours. He was about to approach her, and then dude just gonna get in the way, like. That was to the left of the fantasy section. Great. Hey, did you finish reading Brittany's new book? I can't believe what Justin did hey, to her. Hey, man, right. we'll keep coming. Oh, hey, what are you doing after work? Uh, nothing, why? My friend works at this company. They're having a company party. They're looking for someone to help entertain. Entertain? Yeah, like wear a big bear suit or something, walking around greeting people. Did I forget to mention it pays $200 for four hours? I'm in. <laughs> that didn't take much convincing. And whatever I can do to help my dad. He's having trouble paying rent again. I'll text you the details. Busy day at the library? No, not that busy. Uh, I secretly love it, though. Books. Interesting conversations, getting away from a crazy dad. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I'm not the only one with a crazy dad. <laughs> and I think you might be right about the interesting conversations. Flattery won't get you a free library card renewal, but it might get you a free book recommendation. You like John Grisham? Are you kidding? Love. This is like my favorite book ever. Have you read the sequel to that, The Exchange? It's full of great plot twists. You know, I've been meaning to. Who doesn't love a great plot twist? Okay, something in common. Um, anyways, let me know if you need any help. Uh, yeah, um, actually, uh, I'm looking for books on criminal defense. You mean for people who are being charged with a crime and having to defend themselves? Something like that. Um, long crimes over there. Thanks. It was nice to meet you. Angel. The PR nightmare is starting to cool down a bit. It's a good thing Craig was in charge of anything. He was looking like, how he know my name? And then, of course, her name tag. I mean, usually the CFO gets charged, too. You know what it has to do with a financial crime? That boy's as straight as an arrow, and I think selecting him as the new CEO is really going to help. What is this? Why am I looking at a newspaper with my face on it saying I'm the new CEO of Dark Haven? <laughs> Need help? I don't know why they made this bear head so small. Is the teddy bear head too small or is yours just too big? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> just that. <then. laughs> This is exactly what we needed after all that drama that went down recently. <laughs> I know, man. Hopefully, 
With our new CEO, Dark Haven can, uh, I don't know, turn things around. Oh, uh, that's, this is the rich people from, you know, the company or whatever. From Dark Haven. He didn't tell me that this party was for Dark Haven. Isn't that the company that CEO got arrested? We're just finding out about this now. There's signage everywhere. Who cares? They're paying well. Isn't that what matters? No, Benji, it's not. There are things that are way more important than money. I mean, you can't judge before you know the facts. I mean, I know that, like, it looks bad or whatever, but who knows? Like, what a dude was set up. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Like being a good human and helping people. <sighs> I'm out of here. Oh, excuse me, is that Keish? Oh, thank you. I resigned last week after everything happened. Oh, he had resigned. Be reasonable. You don't want to be part of it. Your dad founded the company, so choosing you is the smartest choice to ease shareholders' concerns. So we can restore investor confidence and stop our stock from falling. Shareholders, investors, stocks. I don't care about any of it. Look, the only reason I took this job in the first place was because my dad promised that we would use some of the profits to help people. If I would have known that he was hurting people. That's all he care about, helping people. He not trying to do, he don't care about the company, really. He just did it because he want to help people. Well, instead, I would have resigned a long time ago. I'm not taking the new job, and that's final. The CEO's salary is seven figures plus bonuses. He don't care about the <sighs> Come on. Stupid. Uh, here, let me help you. Thanks. Uh. Yeah, that was on there tight. You? you. Wait, where are you going? I don't want to be in the elevator with the CEO of a criminal enterprise. But I'm not even the. He's not even the CEO. You forgot something. It's not mine. I have to give back the costume that you probably bought with your shady money. Angel, things are not what they look like. I bet that's what every criminal says. Now it all makes sense. That's why you were in here asking for a criminal defense book. I bet you're afraid of being charged just like your dad. I'm the complete opposite of him. That's why I haven't been charged. Can you please just listen to me for a second? When we first met, I feel like he don't have to explain his up there because he don't know her no way. I mean, at that point, like if she wants to assume and judge you for something she really don't know nothing about, shoot, you don't even have to pursue her. But I guess he 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 sees something in her. You said you had a crazy dad. I agreed with you. And I meant it. I never tried to hide it. Ever since I was little, I wanted to make a positive difference. I wanted my life to mean something. I never cared about the money, but it seems like my dad, that's all that he cared about. Clearly it caught up to him. I want to do good in the world. That's why I turned down the CEO offer. But the newspaper said- The newspapers got it wrong. That's why I was in the office yesterday, to confront the board. And about the books, it wasn't because I was worried about myself. It's because I wanted to know what my dad was going to go through. He might not be the best man, but he is still my father. And I love him as much as that probably doesn't make sense. Oh, I get it. Well, that makes perfect sense because even though your parents may do some things wrong, not the right way, or, you know, things may just look bad, you have to look, still love them. I mean, if they raised you and been around you your whole life, how could you just not love somebody because they make a poor decision? Even though my dad doesn't have any, money is all that he seems to care about. He hates the fact that my dream is to have a charity. And we don't always see eye to eye, but I still love him too. I'm sorry for misjudging you. I guess it's true what they say. You can't always judge a book by its cover. Yeah. Or a newspaper. 
<laughs> so, two strangers meet in a library. One hates the other till they realize they have more in common than she thought. I know how much you love good plot twists, so. Does she give him a chance? What do you say? As long as you don't ask me for a free library card or no. <laughs> Deal. It's as simple as it seems. The twinkle in your eyes. The way that time Hello. slows down Hello. when you Hello. kiss Thank you. me. As we fall asleep in a bed of butterflies. <laughs> Close your eyes and then you'll see it. You don't ever have to look Sorry. too far. Go get in trouble. You don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, open up my heart and you'll find love. I didn't realize you were so funny. I mean, it's my second best quality. What's your first? Uh, clearly my looks. Wow. I guess modesty doesn't make the top ten. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't realize we stayed up all night talking. I, I, I gotta go to work. Well, wait. Dang, she, they stayed up till 6 in the morning talking? Before you hang up, um, I was wondering, could I take you to dinner tonight? Uh, I'm so tired. I don't think I'm going to make it through work, let alone dinner. What if I Uber Eats you Starbucks at work? Vanilla latte, 2%, extra pump? Your favorite. You remembered. I guess thoughtfulness is number three. Sure, pick me up. Let's say 7.30. Sounds good. Angel. Oh, I got to go. Bye. Uh-oh, that's her dad. Were you just talking to a boy? I'm not upset if you were. As long as he's got money. Not this again, Dad. I don't have time. <sighs> Special delivery. Yes. Perfect timing. What's that? What? Mm -hmm. I was not expecting this. I'm guessing that's from that cute guy you met here. I can't believe he bought you Starbucks and a dress. I can't even get someone to buy me McDonald's. He must have money. Well, his family has money. Had money. And he has a good job. No, he had a good job. Honestly, it's all pretty confusing, but he makes me smile. But just uh, The more she talks about it, the more it sounds bad. And that's what matters. <laughs> Where does he live? That'll give it away. I have no idea. I didn't ask him. He ain't got nothing in that bank account, though. <sighs> what happened to all his money? Bills. Bills. More bills. I feel like that newspaper has that boy face on it that the dad that ain't see. He ain't. He don't know the boy rich because he because he listened to all that negativity that was put in his ear by the the landlord. What do you want? Don't tell me you're the one that's taking my daughter out tonight. I am. Honestly, I don't know what it is you have against me. I literally just moved in. Harry, the landlord. He told me you're a criminal. My father, not me. Same thing. I don't want my daughter dating the son of a drug dealer or car thief or whatever he is. Former CEO of Dark Haven. I don't care if he's... Wait, did you... Look at him. Look, he... Did you say former CEO of, of Dark Haven? <laughs> you say Dark Haven? I isn't that the... Look, and he... Look, he's not going to care because... 
number one, they all know Dark Haven got a lot of money. So he looking like, hey, you're the son of the boy. You could date my daughter any day. That's why he gonna say, shoot. He, he only care about the money. Are you going to be the new CEO of a multi-million dollar company? I turned down the offer. I don't even work there anymore. And I gave away all the money that I've ever made to the people he stole from. So you're unemployed and broke. Clearly, you don't have any money. So now he really, he gonna go back to not liking him. Wow. Because, he, look, he, he dang near don't care uh, about all the wrong stuff your dad did as long as you're rich. That's what he care about. Otherwise, you wouldn't be living next to me. You know what? Go away. Oh, I mean, hold, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll take the job. If it means getting to date your daughter. Seven-figure salary, I'll be able to support her. So you are going to be the new CEO of Dark Haven. He, what? He knew. He knew. You he told knew me that one. you turned it down. I did. Uh, but I changed my mind. Let me just explain. Hey, you're just like your father. You're a liar. Angel, don't go. That looks bad, bro. Like, I wish he wouldn't have walked down at that moment and heard them talk about that. Because then he could have told her. He could have been told her, like, hey, your dad act like he didn't want me to date you if I wasn't going to be the CEO. So I just told your dad that. This may be a win, win, win. Craig, I can't tell you how happy we are that you've reconsidered our offer. The shareholders will be pleased. The news alone will send the stock soaring. Well, I might have said yes, but there is one condition. He doing it for real, though. 20% of all of our profits moving forward will be donated to charity. This is non-negotiable for me. Not only will it go a long way for helping people, but it'll also help restore public confidence in Dark Haven. That's a lot of money. But it, got it may end up being a financial win for us. Which charities are you thinking? I won't be the one deciding. The person deciding will be the head of Dark Haven's new nonprofit arm, Angel Gonzalez. Hi, I'm Angel. Okay. As Craig said, I will be the new leader of the charity division at Dark Haven called Light Haven. Okay, let's just slow down here. She doesn't even look older than 21. What kind of experience does she have running a- they, Okay, first off, they're both the same age. He don't look like that either, but y'all won't be the CEO because his dad was the CEO. Nonprofit. She's an avid reader. She loves helping people. And most importantly, she's a good person. Wants to change the world. I believe in her. So if you want me to be your new CEO, you need to believe in her too. Oh my God. Is this gonna be our new place? <laughs> wow. See, my idea of you marrying a successful boy wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> Look at where it's got us. Here, Craig, you can hold my cat now. You earned it. <laughs> Just to be clear, cat now, huh? the success that got us here wasn't mine, but hers. Because of all the amazing work that she's done in the community, Dark Haven's reputation and business is better than ever. Here, see for yourself. Well, it, it's a little exaggerated. I mean, you can't believe everything that you read in the newspaper. Oh my gosh, do you see what your daughter is capable of? I knew she was going to do big things on her own, and you didn't believe in her. Right. Can you yeah, he, please he, just let me enjoy this moment? <laughs> you sure you're okay doing <laughs> so crazy? Trust me, mine's crazier. Besides, I'm good up with anything for you. And you, Mr. Whiskers. Ay, mi gato. Oh. I like this little love story. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.